Hello folks, would you look at that? Yes, this is my prototyping station for the can filler. And we've pretty much got the hardware working. Excuse the light, I'm in the front room. I've taken over the dining table. So you can see in this maze of wires, it looks more complicated than it is. We have an Arduino Uno. And then on the top of that, I'm getting in the light there. We have, these buttons are redundant now. We have indicator lights, which lead to some MOSFETs. Those MOSFETs are controlling 12 volts coming in, which we need to switch these solenoid pneumatic valves. These are 5-2 valves. I've sketched out on the back of this one pretty much the direction of the air. And then those valves are controlling these air cylinders. So we've got two air cylinders in tandem here that represents the filling rail. So at the start of the cycle, this rail will be lifted up, which means that the fill tubes and assembly are out the way. Over here, we have a third cylinder on its own uh, solenoid this is for pushing the cans forwards and then I don't have them wired up but it's a very similar situation with uh, three more solenoids four actually four more solenoids which are just your simple washing machine solenoid type things you know 12 volts which will turn on the co2 and the beer so I hope that's uh, something that you can follow along with let me just get down a little bit and uh, I'll see if I can walk you through the process so if I just zoom out a touch you'll see that both of these cylinders are in the uh, out position so if I start the cycle by pressing this button here we can see over there that the can push cylinder has retracted the fill heads have dropped the can push cylinder attracts, it extended, not retracts. And then now the uh, fill solenoids would be open. That's indicated with these three LEDs here. So I've got in here a little bit of beer with a five volt sensor in it. And all these three wires dangling here represent uh, the fill level sensors. And if you look at the lights in the background, as I dip each one of these in the beer, out, out and then finally when I put the third one in we extend the uh, fill rail again pulls it out the way and it's ready for me to put another three cans on the cam belt if you like and start the cycle over again So I can control the flow of, or the speed of the solenoids. I know it's really dark, I do apologise. I'll do a better video tomorrow or the day after. But these adjustable um, inline valves allow me to adjust the speed on the solenoids. We've also incorporated, I say we, the guys over in the code, have also incorporated a reset button as well. So let's have another shot few seconds to push the cans in place that's going a little bit slow and then like I said we can press that button to reset the whole thing again so I'm sorry about the shadow the shaky camera work and the jittering but I thought you guys deserved an update to see where we're at a big thanks to all the team that are working on the code this wouldn't work if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for everybody else who's put suggestions in. Because it's helped us get to where we are. And uh, yeah, the next stage is now to... Uh, well, we're waiting for the steel. The steel has been ordered. The next stage will indeed be to start fabrication. Oh, don't you just love it? So I'll put a shopping list together of all these components and they will be available 
um, either on the GitHub uh, site where the code is based, or we'll set up a page on my website once I've built it. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next one.